Tapia had a gash on the top of his head, but it was not. Johnny Tapia, the crowd is revved up. So are of beers. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic. It's showtime! Stands at 30 wins, only one loss, with 12. His record, 48 wins, one loss, two draws, with 20. Pauli Ayala! Tapia! Necessarily, the main thing is to counter and score points. And here we... Tapia wearing the spiritual tattoo. Two or three punches before a fighter can even react. He's hit with four and five. They're both unloading with big punches early. And Big Mouse right here, a little bit of the who's going to get whose respect first. And with the right hand following. And Tapia walking into one side by Tapia. And you saw Tapia counter to counter. I Back by Tapia. Wants to stay here. Tapia told us he walks around at 140. He's been as high as one. KO specialist. And just a product of bad behavior. And it continues. At Steve. There it is again, a tail end of that, right on the jaw. So Johnny Tapia looked tremendous in that first round. He had a round very quick. The holy minute. Don't ask me to say it again. Yeah, yeah. Back comes Tapia pushing Ayala back, which is very rare. Get his pound of flesh and hold his ground, because he has to. We approach the final seconds of round two. Focused. He's eating a lot of leather and they continue to wail. And Johnny's obliging him. And I think if you were just listening in the corner, Jesse Reed, Johnny's a little off balance. And what he just does is push Ayala off him. Into a brawl, just like the first fight. Well, it should be interesting to see what happens here in round three. Nothing there for you to hit coming out, just like that. So he loose him. Chris inside left uppercut. I don't know how many. Working very well for Tapia. That one puts Tapia back momentarily. Here comes Tapia. There's that beautiful. This is the name of the game. Boxing, son. Boxing. All right. Round four. To me, was managed by his wife. As Paulie, as he looks to avenge his only loss in 12. Great! Tapia on with chance of Johnny. And then sometimes getting dropped. Ayala continues to come forward. Blocked by Ayala. It was a heavy right hand by Tapia. See how slick he is. He's hard to hit. Oops. No holding break. Step back. That Ayala picks it back up. As we head for the back. Beautiful punch. Slip underneath. Bang. That is what happens here as we begin round five. Scheduled for 12. And boy, by Ayala. There's a right uppercut by Tapia. Which is to the advantage of Ayala. Johnny back to Sapo. There's a nice left hand by Ayala. One, two. Just a half slip against Antonio Romero. Each fighter has been down only once in his career. With his own gloves, stepped around, countered, but not fired. Well, that looks like something from the phys ed class in high school. It really does. Penetrating punches that have to be getting to Ayala. The no accumulative. Ayala missing wildly. Yeah. Okay, All right. let's go. I love you, Grandma. Got Bob Cookie. I'm still your oh, truck. Oh, parents were, were murdered. Reflexes are unbelievable. There's a straight left in combinations. And upset Tapia. On the outside in boxing ability. This is not the style of fight that Alex give me of Tapia. Those punches are telling and they will eventually get there. That has to take something out of Ayala. I certainly saw him stagger Ayala. Never staggered him in the first fight. Here at home, how hard it is to throw a double right hand like that, that quick, that accurate. He's blocking most of the field, exuding confidence here in round six. Get them arms. Come on, Mr. Reed. All right. Beautiful. There's so many more punches this time than he did last time. Because these punches making Ayala miss two there. Make Ayala miss three there. 
Pass to number two. It catapults him into the public eye. Johnny finding a home. I've switched this up a couple times. See that ring general should be so sweet. You watch Johnny just left hand right on the head by I Johnny putting on a clinic when he wants a box, he sure can box. Make perhaps even better here. Through. Pretty clean, not a big power shot. Pia is stripping Ayala of his confidence. Got his face there between rounds. So in charge. See, again, under the nose of Tapia. Ayala. Tapia fighting like a man with a purpose. Right into the right hand. And he walked into a left hand at Tapia. And he gets smart. Then he gets in the slug best. That's better suited. Well, yeah, yeah. Tapia. Nice left hook, right hand. Badly not looking very good. But Tapia coming back at him. Triple E. And he's scoring effectively. He's getting off. And a right left combination at the foul to the head of. Straight left hand right down the middle. Getting Johnny's attention with another two, three. Third left hit, right hand. Clean. And here comes a jab in the left hand. Three, four rounds. Technically, Junior, Junior Walters 140 as a limit. Gerald McClellan years ago used to come in at 159, and then the next day he missed far too often. Pushing Tapia, pushing, stop them for a second. Well, when we're drawing, he's the aggressor. Three, four lefts there by Tapia. Counter by Tapia. You watch Ayala lunge. Oh, what was oh. that? It's something I would not recommend. But Johnny Tapia will always do what Johnny Tapia's been working all night. And Misses. Look how badly misses. Spotty movement by Johnny Tapia. Ayala, and I'll tell you what, Jesse Reed told Johnny Tapia at the start, go out. Ayala and says, all right, I'll bring it on. And Tapia. But I think that the respect is there and the admiration and the trust. Johnny's squaring off in slugfest style. Tapia has not landed. worked and outskilled by Tapia. He's just not landed. As urged on by Jesse Reed. He pushes Tapia back, who smiles back at Paul. Allen's looking a little bit tentative right here, looking to load up. Oh, he got hit with a man. a second win. He's in nothing, lands clean here, but Johnny's hands all the way down, and he gets hit with that. There's no need for that. His hands out of his corner. Ayala comes off, Arters the distance. Chuck Giampa, Keith McDonald, and Jerry Rock. Ooh. Might be a little tired, he's missed a lot of punches, but that's where hands by his waist. The attack. Not a big round for either fighter, but Johnny Alpha. He's always the a smile at him, but you know that got his attention. That had to hurt. Good finish by Tapia. Did he said, you want me to slug with him? I thought that's, that's exactly what they didn't want him to do. That's what I heard. Well, let's see what transpires. Oh, a good left hand by Paul Ayala. Back comes Tapia. Ayala might think he's winning because they keep telling him you're the champ, but he keeps that title in these rounds. Yeah, I'm not sure what Ayala's doing here. There have been no... Ayala's got a jump on Tapia now. Thinks he's Wala. As the crowd really goes wild for the fight. Look at this. Toe to toe war at the bell. Ayala thinks. Might even have got caught with a couple behind the head. Furious exchange just seconds before. Ayala didn't initiate the sequence to start. Tapia followed him. On the inside, though, for the majority of the fight, I gave Ayala. And gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. We. Polly Ayala. I'm going to stay very calm. Because I know that, you know, I'm the best fighter out there in the world.